Kevin here from Toxic Addiction, uh, showing you a tutorial on how to use your green screen. Um, like, if you don't know how, like, what the concept of using green screen is, it's so that you can. I just got an example picture off Google Images here. Uh, it's so that you can put a different background instead of the green. So instead of being just at home uh, in front of a green screen, you can be wherever. So I'm just going to show you an example here in the tutorial actually. <coughs> uh, so I have this picture here, it's a good picture uh, showing foreground and background with the green screen, has good lighting and everything. Uh, so you're going to want to click this right here, it'll say event effects, just click that and this screen will pop up. You're going to want to click Sony Chroma Key, press OK. And then you'll see that this page came up somewhere on your screen. It's usually, if you you've used it the first time, it comes up in the middle. So, uh, it the default uh, setting for it is a blue screen uh, as opposed to a green screen. So, what you're gonna want to do is go to Show Mask Only, click that box, and then change the low threshold and high threshold until the foreground is completely white and the background is all black to help to help with this um, actually you can do uh, you can click this button up here and then change everything around like that. push this over towards green. But I think there's an easier way to do this. You can, um, yeah, you can get the uh, ink tool and then just take the color from there and it'll be all black in the background. And go to show mask only. You're going to want to put this up a little, this down a little. So that it looks like that. It has very fine lines. It looks quite pixelated though, so you're gonna put up the blur amount to like around 40, uh, anywhere from 0 to 40. So I have it set on 42 right there. That looks pretty good. Let's unclick show mask only. There's still some green luminance around here. So That up. It's hard. It's also uh, pretty hard to do this if uh, if you have um, something shiny on you, like if you have some green. This guy's wearing glasses. If you have some green in your glasses somehow, then that'll pick up as black, and the background will fill in as black automatically. I don't really know why there's some green filling in right there. It's probably all because of shadow. So, as you see, I've unchecked uh, show mask only. I'm going to exit out of that screen. And then I'm going to just bring up pictures. Uh, um, just put this in the background. So that when you play it, that there's a foreground and a background. This also works with videos and like it works with videos and pictures in the background. It works with videos in the foreground uh, or just pictures in the foreground as you see pretty much any combination uh, revolving around that you could think of is how it really works. So that's about it. But if you want um, say you see how it's kind of cut off there say you just want it up in the corner a little Sorry. You're gonna click this button right here. You can see that's uh, moving over it. It says event pan slash crop. Just click that. Bring it to the middle. Zoom out like that. Um, and then you can 
make it smaller. And let's see. And just chilling up there. So then when you play it, it's up there. And you can see pretty much all of it. So that's about it. Uh, it's a pretty, it's fairly simple. You should be able to follow this right. And uh, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and don't forget to, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, check out our channel as well. Uh, more videos coming soon. We started our uh, web show. Uh, so check that out. It'll be up around there. Our channel will be. So. Yeah, so check that out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like it down here, uh, whatever. So, yeah, thanks for.